John, if uh, if you're a high school recruit that plays defense, there's a chance that you're on campus this uh, this weekend. Four star offensive tackle Bo Hughley, four star offensive tackle DJ Chester, four star defensive lineman Ruben Bain, four star defensive lineman Hunter Osborne, four star uh, defensive lineman Keldrick Falk, tight end Jelani Thurman, four star linebacker D Creighton, four star DBs. Uh, Jakeem Jackson, as well as four-star linebacker C.J. Allen, and a defensive end, Josh Horton. A ton of talented guys, John. Who are the big ones? Who are the big ones that Auburn fans need to look at and say, okay, this is a guy I need to pay attention to this weekend? Well, you got to start in-state, Zach. And, and certainly, we, we've talked a lot about the, the strength of this in-state class yeah. for the class of 2023. And, and really, that conversation literally begins – with the defensive lineman. It is a loaded year in yeah. the state of Alabama. Uh, you you got to keep some of these kids home. That, that's true for Alabama. It's true for Auburn. And we right. know everybody's trying to come into Alabama to pluck some of this top-tier talent uh, and drive them away from the home state. So getting guys like Keldrick Falk, Hunter Osborne on campus once again, really big deal. Not only because it's an official visit and this will be their first Auburn experience where it is multiple days, intimate time with Brian Harson and company, the meals, all, all the great events and lineup stuff you, you get on an official visit, but it is a different impression relative to other official visits because both of these guys in particular, the instaters, they're taking a bunch of officials in the month of June. And there's, there's a real opportunity here for Auburn in, in both cases for Falk Highland home kid right down the road as familiar with Auburn really as it gets a, a guy who's been a no name since I think his freshman year, extremely long, productive, uh, pass rusher, uh, played offense, plays basketball, a lot of the physical athletic traits that you really like at the position and Auburn, you know, for a long time, I think among all the in-state defensive linemen and several are local, right? Auburn, Montgomery, Highland home, et cetera. Sure. You got to feel maybe best about Falk uh, of this entire group for the longstanding, you know, uh, perception, you know, so I think a chance to nail that home is a really big deal for, for Jimmy Brumbo, for Harson and company uh, at Auburn to try to, to reel these guys in, or at least put yourself back at that top spot, you know, Florida state, Florida have both been really high on Falk and they've been chipping away at this perceived Auburn lead. Uh, so it's time to cut that out and erase all of that, if at all possible, with yeah. this Auburn official visit. I'm not saying he's going to commit. I mean, he could. I'm not saying he, he will, uh, but you want to at least pull even or ahead of, of anyone else in the race. And I do think Auburn has that opportunity with Keldrick Falk, uh, who does want to commit before the season gets going. And then with Hunter Osborne, it, it's a little bit more tangible. Okay. You know, Clemson hosted him last weekend, official visit. They had like literally 30 officials. It was crazy. And it looks like Clemson could be that emerging program for Osborne. Now, Texas is, is his most recent offer. They're getting involved. They're going to get an official visit. Alabama's involved. Others are involved. But Clemson really did what we saw, what we said they could, that Auburn could do for Falk. Clemson did for Osborne and kind of push the Tigers in the ACC to the top of his recruitment. So from the Auburn angle, this is the opportunity to close that gap and say, hey, you know, in-state kid, a Josh Floyd coached prospect you know josh and, and hewitt trustle has been so good to auburn right. over the years through the portal and high school you got to try to reel that back in and, and close uh, on some of that clemson buzz so in terms of the timing here extremely opportunistic for auburn to get him on campus right after that clemson official that that has him incredibly you know you know considering moving you know towards the acc programs get him right back on campus after that re-familiarize him immediately re-establish the priority level that, that Hunter has, has really been for a long time uh, for the Tigers. So, so for me, with Falk and Osborne, it's like two incredibly tangible, this is what we need to do angles yeah. from Auburn. Um, and I think a lot of these D-linemen visiting together is a good thing because now you're, you're, you're starting to theoretically build a group and you can say, hey, Falk, line up on the edge, Osborne, kick inside, let's line them up together, get them into jerseys. Brumba can, can go through some things like that on an official visit that you really otherwise wouldn't have time for. So I do think, again, the OVs this year, this time of year, I should say, are really critical. And that's why we see so many commitments starting to come in basically for everyone. So when you look at that official visit list, 
it starts in state and, and it starts up front on defense uh, with the Tigers.